Ekura Manaki Tika Te Fare Tangata, New Zealand's world first period products and schools initiative, has been around since June 2021. Concerned by the environmental impacts of mainstream period products, Wararapa charity Divine River has been busy upcycling towels, loose fabrics, and plastics into free eco period pads to distribute to local schools. Carterton School, Southend, Dalefield, Hadlow, St. Patrick's and Douglas Park are just some of the schools Divine River has worked with, hosting educational sessions for girls in years 5 to 8 to construct their own reusable sanitary towels. 2022 was a, an interesting year, I think, for everyone. But by the end of it, we really started to get some momentum going. And we had, um, you know, multiple projects and workshops happening in schools where we've managed to do our introductory and taster workshops where we actually go in um, for a couple of hours and, and make these pads and the single pa wet bag with the tamariki, which is awesome. <laughs> Co-founders Lisa and Joe are now working on longer term pilot programs, educating young people on social regenerative enterprise. So working with Tamariki and Angatahi to look at ways to take something that would, nest, would potentially go into landfill that's just reached the end of its useful life and then repurpose that into something which is useful for them again or their whanau or their community. So um, we did that with Carterton District Council recently. We took their old event flags and converted them into bin covers that can be used as part of a broader waste manage management plan at events and things. So, yeah, it's taking those concepts and those ideas of how we can take something that would just end up in landfill and giving it a new lease of life and along the same time, at the same time, do some social good. So make a product that we could sell, so it might make a little bit of money for whoever's making it, so the enterprise element, but actually create social good. Thank you, Divine River. Students from Hadlow School say the workshops with the Divine River made them more environmentally conscious and more open to discussing shared female experiences. It's always nice to have that support and like it could feel embarrassing but everyone goes through it. Divine River has definitely empowered me to make different choices and choices that will help with the sustainability of the environment. Carterton Deputy Mayor Dale Williams has been an active member of the Divine River Trust Board for three years. The conversations moved rapidly on from is there climate change and whose fault it is to let's accept that the extremes are there and we've got to be doing as much as we possibly can to uh, improve the sustainable future for everybody. I mean my generation we're on the way out not on the way in but youngsters at schools like this they've got their whole life ahead of them and they're really aware of the world that they want to live in and they can play an active part in that. It's not just school kids that learn to upcycle personal products. Divine River has a team of volunteers who meet regularly to sew pads and brainstorm ideas. I think it's been a perennial problem for women worldwide for since time immemorial that there hasn't been an easy way to get through periods. Um, and I think the last few years there have been some good solutions, but they haven't been very environmentally friendly. Um, when I was young, it was tampons were around, but they were quite expensive. Um, so most people use these awful pads that you attach to an elastic belt around your waist and you sort of struggled through the day and didn't know where to put it because they didn't have nice little bins like they do now for you to put them in at lunchtime. The joy with this is that we've been able to have sewing bees and have people around and make a cake and everybody has a coffee or a wine and sits and sews. And so it's a stitch and bitch. It's a really good night out or an afternoon out for the ladies. So we've enjoyed it on very many levels. So it's been sociable, but it's also had a cause that we all are very firmly believing in that we are doing the work for. Through conversations with volunteers, Divine River realized their mahi could also benefit older women suffering from incontinence, something which impacts largely the over 60s, as well as women who have just given birth. We're looking to develop some sort of research project with a local um, aged care facility and also the local incontinence nurse with the DHB to look at developing a product that can work for those people as well and then work with community-led volunteer groups to fulfill that need. Hopefully bring a bit more dignity around it too because the products, the feedback we've had from the youth and the um, the tamariki that we've worked with is that the products feel nice you know they sit better on your body and um, they make you feel nicer in, an, in a 
at a time when perhaps you're feeling a bit more tender. And again, you know, incontinence isn't something that any of us relish the thought of. And I think that if we can help keep people's dignity, then that's a really positive thing. Lisa wants to see Divine River reach a national scale. What we'd really like from the government is to open discussion, right? To have those conversations about how we could work alongside what's already in place. Because a, a huge part of, of our co is we don't want to we don't want to create a whole new machine <laughs> um, or something that's going to cost um, either the government or or individuals a lot of money. What we want to try and do is enhance what's already there. And free period in products in schools is already there. So let's look at working with with a system that's made great change happen for Orangatahi and Tamariki and enhance that. So, you know, we believe we can do that. We've seen the benefits of that here in the Wild Rapper already by being able to hand out, I think we handed out 300 eco period pads in the last couple of weeks and that replaces 30,000 disposable pads that don't potentially go into landfill. And if we can do that on a national scale, then the benefits are huge. I really hope that more organisations, government departments, councils, everybody who's in governance or leadership in communities support initiatives like this. We've had our MP Karen McAnulty take part, he learnt to sew and made sustainable products to take home as well. So I think it's, it shows good leadership when we aren't just um, supporting from a distance but we're actually getting in behind the people doing this mahi. And, um, and making sure they know how important it is that what they're doing. Thank you, Ellie Franco, local focus.